Hey guys, it's official. There's snow on the ground, there's salt all over the roads, and my truck is in storage. It's kind of a bummer, but we're looking at the bright side because it's build season. It's time to knock out some projects on the truck. I've got a whole bunch lined up. Some of them I'm gonna film, some I'm not. But a couple videos I really wanted to make revolve around beefing up the independent front suspension on the Tacoma, specifically in a cost-effective way. There are a couple really cost-effective mods you can do to get a lot of extra strength out of the IFS. And we're heading out there today to do one of them. And that one is to correct the issue where you take your truck off-road, um, you bash it around a little bit, and you come back and your steering wheel's messed up and your alignment's way out. Uh, it's really common to do that, really easy to knock the thing out of alignment with just, you know, even moderate terrain. And the good news is there's a really easy way to fix it, uh, a really simple mod to do so. So that's what we're heading out there to do today. I'll show you where the truck's at and I'll show you how to do this mod. So let's get out there guys and let's get started. Let me show you guys what we're about to get into here. So here's the alignment cam assembly for the first generation Tacoma. There's four cams per side. One here, one on the back side of this leg, one on the front side of the rear leg, and then another one on the very back side. And that is mirrored on the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. So we are going to be pulling these cams out of there. We're just gonna be taking that through bolt out of there, pulling the cams out, and replacing it with some hardware that I'll show you in just a second. And then we'll also be reinforcing, uh, trying to get some light on it, these tabs which are pretty flimsy and prone to bending, and there's a pretty nice, easy way to do that. So let's get into it, guys. Uh, let me show you the hardware we're gonna be installing. All right, here is the hardware from Poly Performance. These are Toyota LCA cam tabs, or taco tabs for short. I think that is an awesome name, it's perfect. And what you'll get are some stickers, some instructions, awesome, and then your Hardware to replace the through bolts. These are either grade eight or 10.9 if they're metric, I can't remember, but uh, they are rugged. They will handle a lot, and I think they're stronger than the stock ones. I'm not positive on that, but they very well could be stronger than the stock ones. And then here are the taco tabs themselves. As you can see, they're not round or oval or whatever. Uh, they are square, they have straight edges, and these edges are meant to ride up against those flimsy tabs that I showed you earlier and basically maintain your alignment if you take a hard hit. As you can see, some of them have an offset hole. Uh, this can be offset left or right, or all the way in or all the way out on your uh, camera alignment, and some of them are centered. And these are meant to represent all the common alignment settings that you'll find on a Toyota truck, especially lifted ones. And as you guys have probably already thought about, the downside to doing this mod is you lose the theoretical infinite adjustability of the stock uh, cam alignment tabs. But um, I am here to tell you that I really don't think you need it. I think if you look under the vast majority of Toyota trucks, you'll find that the cams are set all the way in, all the way out, or centered. And I'll show you my truck just to, you know, have one data point. Mine are all the way out. This is the last time I got an alignment. Um, they pushed them all the way out. And on my daily driver Tacoma, which is also lifted, they are also all the way out. And I see this setting very, very frequently. And um, because of that, I really don't think you're losing a lot by installing these uh, taco tabs. And we're gonna prove it. So, let's dig in. Uh, we got to pull these tabs out first, or these cams out first, so let's get started. Uh, I'll get the breaker bar and see if we can get these things loose. All right, let's see if we can't get this first bolt out of here. All right. There's one of them. Easy work. Look at that, right out of there. Before we installed the taco tabs, I told you that we're going to reinforce these stock, very flimsy alignment tabs that are super prone to bending. And there's a few ways you can do that. You can buy a kit from a number of manufacturers that essentially replace this entire bent 
sheet metal alignment assembly. There's a few plug welds here that you'll drill out and then grind it all flush and you replace it with like a laser cut piece of plate, maybe quarter inch plate with some quarter inch tabs that have little slots in the plate and then you fill it weld and it's all really strong, looks good and uh, it's pretty slick. It costs about a hundred bucks for the cheaper version of that and then there's a more expensive version that has some gussets too. Uh, it's all slick and you know it works well but I'm here to tell you that there is a cheaper way to do it. This is Keystock from McMaster. Uh, maybe <laughs> 10 bucks worth of Keystock. Three feet long, mild steel. Uh, 3 sixteenths Keystock. It's a little oversized so it's a little more than 3 sixteenths. What I'm gonna do is essentially just cut sections of it uh, that perfectly made up with the tabs. It's the same length as the tab. We're going to set it on the outside of each tab, butt it right up against the edge and fill it weld here and then put some weld such that the tab is bonded to the key stock. And suddenly this tab will go from being maybe an eighth inch thick to now like five sixteenths or a little more. So that thing is not going to bend anymore. It's going to be a pretty easy thing to do. I'll show you. We're going to get the wire wheel out, clean this all up, cut some key stock and weld it in there. So let's do that real quick and I'll show you the result. Okay, I have these nice, whoop, <laughs> I have these two little pieces of key stock now, you can see those, and we are just going to tack them there, and then one on the other side as well. Now we can finish welding them in. All right, so as you can see, I've got fillet weld on the outside of both pieces of key stock. I have weld on the top and I have four tack welds just to bond the stock tabs to the new key stock. And while this might not be as elegant as some of the laser cut solutions you can buy and then weld together on the bench, uh, I would claim this is much stronger than stock and it'll do the job just fine. I think I'm gonna be pretty hard pressed to bend these tabs now, which is great. I'm going to do this for all eight locations, or I guess seven more of them. I'm not going to submit you to all that footage. So I'm going to do that, and then we will install the taco tabs. Two hours later. I have all the alignment tabs reinforced with key stock, except the rearmost tabs. I actually got back there and saw that there was a decent fillet weld on the tabs themselves for some reason, and I called it good. It looked pretty strong, so we called it good there. It's time to install the taco tabs, guys. So as you can see, they fit very nicely in there. We're using the A-style tabs up front. That pushes the hole to the outside of the frame. And the front alignment locations control camber, mostly. And the rear alignment locations actually control caster, primarily. So the front tabs, in my case, or the front cams, were all the way out uh, towards the outside of the frame. So we're going to replace them with the A-style tabs um, in this orientation. So let's do the front first. I still have the rear tabs in there just to kind of hold the control arms in place. And I'm just gonna muscle it around and put these ca uh, taco tabs in there. Before I put the taco tab on there, I'm just gonna put a little bit of fluid film on the mating surface. Uh, I'm not even gonna spray it on. I'm just gonna put it on a paper towel, kind of dab it on there just because corrosion. <laughs> And then this will be a bit of a trick. There we go. Now, pull that out. Muscle it over. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. All right, for the back side, we're going to put a lock nut, another washer too. But that is a Stover lock nut, if you guys are interested. And these are a lock nut. They're a deformed thread lock nut. The deformed thread's on the very top. And they're reusable a limited number of times. But that's pretty cool. 
uh, I think these are pretty neat little pieces of hardware. They work really well. I've used them a lot at work and on other projects. All right, looks pretty good. We're gonna leave that loose for just a second and get all the other ones in. This one's being just a bit of a pain. See if we can't get it in place with the jack. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get that in position. Beauty. Now, if you thought this install was going to be a complete walk in the park, you'd be wrong. Because the <laughs> rear cam assemblies, unfortunately, the through bolt can't be removed without uh, finagling the steering rack out of position just a little bit, which is super annoying to me because I just put these polyurethane bushings on the steering rack and fought it back into position. So to have to, you know, unbolt it all and fight it again is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, so we're going to take all the hardware out of the steering rack, um, the nut off that top stud, the, the bolt out of the bottom, the top through bolt, and the through bolt on the other side. And we're going to try to wiggle the steering rack back just enough to be able to get that through bolt out. So kind of annoying, but could be worse, I guess. I'm lucky I still have this thing completely loose. I don't even have the tie rods connected. Keep in mind you might have to disconnect the tie rods to do this. Actually, I think you definitely will. Come on, there we go. There. Okay, now we can get at this side. Now, as you guys can see here, my rear cams are actually all the way inboard, or pretty close to it. So we're still going to use the A-style plates, or uh, taco tabs, but we're going to flip them so that the hole is all the way inboard. There's the through bolt. There's the cam assembly. All right, now let's see if we can't get the taco tabs in there. Well, that went in easy. Really easy. Let's see if we can get the inner one on. Oh yeah, easy work guys. Not too bad. Finally, we want to torque these things to a very non-trivial 125 foot-pounds. So make sure you get the full torque on these things because you don't want these bolts coming loose. All right. Yeah, 125 is no joke. Don't skimp on the torque. Last step is to see if I can't get this steering rack back in there. All right, let's get this steering rack torque to spec. I believe this bigger through bolt is 141 foot pounds. Ah, there we go. And then this bolt and this nut on the passenger side holding this U bracket are both 123 foot pounds. Ah. There we go. The through bolt right through the middle, it's the same, 123. Ah, there. Perfect. 
That's it for this one, guys. A pretty simple install of some really simple parts that correct a couple of known issues that pop up when you take a Tacoma into the rocks. No longer will I worry about flattening out my alignment tabs or losing my alignment at all when I'm in rugged terrain, so that's awesome. Uh, but probably my favorite part of this entire mod is how cheap it is. I mean, 20 bucks worth of key stock and then a $100 taco tabs kit with all the hardware included. You can't go wrong. So I highly recommend doing this mod if you're thinking about it or you're in the process of doing it and this video helped you out at all, please throw me a like. I really appreciate any sort of support for my videos. If you have any questions or if anything was ambiguous, comment below. I'd be happy to clear it up or just talk trucks or mods in general. And if you're psyched to see more, please subscribe because I'm not done with the front end of this truck yet. Uh, up next, I'm going to install some Total Chaos spindle gussets, so get psyched for that and subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Um, but I'm pretty cold, so I'm going to go warm up. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.